Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on Play on GEA with me, Seamus Brady. In this video, we're going to be talking about Galway massacring Westmeath in the round two of the Leinster Hurling Championship 2022, live from Pierce Stadium in Galway. Um, yeah, don't really know what to make out of this. Galway 337, Westmead 117. The only thing to take away is that Westmead are completely in over their head. Um, there was an early Westmead goal chance right at the start of the game. Noel Mitchell overhit the pass though to Mac Nickel. Brian could kind of look sharp early for Galway, and they were already four points ahead. In the 12th minute, the first goal came for Galway. Keelan Fahey, sorry, scored to make it 1-8 to two points. Davy Glennon responded with a Westmead point from play. There was a lovely Galway move then shortly after that score, though, which finished with Joseph Cooney finishing with a plum. In the 31st minute, Porig Mannion hit a boomer. And after the 31st minute, it was 2.23 to Galway, five points to Westmead. I mean, that's just ridiculous. To be fair, Westmead fought back. They were very reliant on Killian Doyle's freeze, though, however. And at halftime, it was 2.25 to eight points. Westmead were better. In the second half, I think that had a lot to do with Galway taking their foot off the gas. They knew they didn't have to put that much in. Dermot McNichol got a goal early for Westmead after a mistake in the Galway defence. Then there was a penalty. Robbie Greville was shown a black card and Connor Cooney converted the penalty for Galway. Gavin Lee and Aina Burke, two young stars, they both scored lovely points at the end with Aina Burke getting the last point to make it 337 to 117. I mean... What can you really take away from this game? Westmeath, like, I think their manager, Fortune, I think he said it best, like, that this showed the level, really, between the John McDonough Cup and the Lee McCarthy Cup, the level of commitment, the level of ability, the level of fitness between, you know, an All-Ireland Championship winning team and, and a John McDonough Cup team. Because Galway, a few seasons ago, with the likes of Conor Cooney, with the likes of Brian Cannon, were serious All-Ireland contenders. And in my opinion, they still have the players to win the All-Ireland. So it was always going to be such an ask for Westmead, especially going away from home. But, you know, they've earned their right here. They won the John McDonough. They come up. You know, they have every right to have a crack. But in my opinion, this Westmead side doesn't beat Antrim. So I really struggle to see how they're going to put it up to, you know, All-Ireland Championship teams. I think the game against Leash is the only one that Westmead can really win. I think that they showed some promising signs against Kilkenny in the first game. Killian Doyle shot the lights out that day. But, yeah, I think the Leash game is the one that they should be keeping their eye on. I don't think they have any chance of beating Dublin or Wexford. Uh, the two toughest games, you could argue, they've gotten them out of the way, Kilkenny and Galway. Now can only get better from here. But I can't see them beating Wexford or Dublin. I think they should put all their eggs in beating Leash. I think they should really save it up to just give that game a crack if they want to stay in the Lee McCarthy for next season. I do think Donald O'Cusack's point was very, very valid. I think funding into the likes of Westmead, Kerry, Kildare, Down, Derry, these counties that are showing serious signs of progression with hurling, funding these sides is very important because you had the likes of Carlo that showed a bit of progress with the hurling and they, then they just dropped off, awfully just dropped off after being All-Ireland winners for so many years back in the day. So the GA needs to fund these counties just like they funded Dublin and the Gaelic football. They need to make sure that the GA is as strong as it's ever been in all these counties. I absolutely agree with Donald Logue's debate. If you haven't checked it out, I do recommend checking it out. It was on the Sunday game there last night. Well worth looking at. Donald Logue makes a serious point about it because... It really did make the GEA so popular in Dublin when it got the funding from the GEA. So I think they should apply the same methods to the GEA in other counties and it will help them flourish and it will just make the game better all around. Before I wrap up this video, just want to pass on our deepest and deepest, deepest condolences to Kate Moore and the Galway Camogie player who tragically passed away during a game of Camogie. Um, yeah, my personal thoughts and prayers go to the family and friends of Kate Moran and anyone affected really by this tragedy because this is just an unthinkable, an unthinkable thing that a player would go to a match and uh, not come home. So to Kate, uh, to her family, to her friends, may she rest in peace. And yeah, guys, that is the video here on Play on GAA. Until the next one, guys, take care.